Hi, I wasn't going to paint today, I've been fitting carpets most of the morning. But I can't sit down and do nothing, so I'm just going to do a pot boiler. Uh, just a country scene, trees and distance and path figure. But I'm going to use a bit of stipple on, on these, this tree, or the trees. Not on the background, I'll just put those in, in a bit of blue, but I'm just going to use this old worn out bristle brush. Good for stipple. Um, and I've made a comment on one of um, someone else's comments on one of my videos about developing style. Um, and don't, don't be too concerned about, about the style. You, you'll develop your own language. If you're a beginner, it takes quite a while anyway, but the more you do, the, the, the quicker you get there. But there are always going to be people better than you. There are plenty of people better than me, but I just do what I can. But I found that by copying uh, masters like Roland Hilda early on, uh, when I first started, I, I tried to copy their style, but you can't, it's, it's not right, it doesn't really work, it's, that's how they interpret. And also, when you're copying, you must bear in mind that, um, that they have done all the, or and me, have done all the selection for you. In other words, we've left out all the, the clutter and the detail and simplified the picture. So when you copy someone else's work, you haven't got to worry about that. But eventually, you will when you work from your own material. Um, then you will have to learn how to select. Because you can't put everything in. Well, there are people good enough that can paint photographically. I'm not one of them. I don't know too many people that are. And I tend to think, well, how clever. Yeah, very clever. But where's the art? Where's the selection? They didn't know how, how to leave it out. They could put it all in, but they couldn't leave it all out. And that's why we love the Impressionists. They left so much out and left us to put in the detail, which was just a wonderful thing. So don't worry about style, but please feel free to copy, certainly copy my stuff. Um, and, and then you will get the confidence to do stuff yourself. And then you will, I mean, when you learn to read, to, to write, do you think how long it took you to do cursive writing, joined up writing? It took a long time, it took several years to get quite proficient at that. And it's the same, same, same with, with, with painting and drawing. You learn to do it. And we didn't all grow up writing in the same style, did we? We've got uh, handwriting experts that work for the police and, and can decide if, if, if a thing is fake or, or not or whatever. So don't be hung up on it. So now, wet it wet, wet the paper all over. If I was really good at this, I'd uh, make some videos and sell them on, on YouTube. Show you three and four minute clips. But, uh, not that good. Now, a nice, nice bright day, so a bit of, bit of sienna in the sky, as usual. You can use burnt sienna if you prefer. Now, a bit of, bit of a lizard in there, I think. Now we're going with the uh, the blue. Oh, nice streaky sky. And we'll put a bit of a shadow on some of the clouds. Right, that'll do.
That's quite a nice looking skylight. It will dry quite a bit lighter. And I'll reclip it. The last one I did took 37 minutes, a bit too long really. As you don't mind me rabbiting on. Get the hairs like that, just leave them. If I try to take it off now, I'll make them it'll be worse. My, my hake is losing hairs now. Don't ask me to do a sky tutorial because every painting I do on YouTube is a tutorial. There's a sky in every one of them. Now, same colour as the sky, though. We just put in some nice, nice. Right, that's the distance. Okay, we'll put some nice light sienna, green, greeny colour, sienna and lemon yellow. Let's just put that in there. Nice light. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I think rather than leave it out and put it in the last minute, I'm going to put in the uh, the path. So we'll have light red. Right, I'll do it for that. So light coming from up here somewhere, so shadows coming across here. So let's mix up a nice, nice warm warm colour for That's the shadow under the and there. Now we put some green in there. I oh, got some darker. All very quick. Right, we'll uh, some bluer ones. Okay. Now we'll do some some. Uh, going over the hill. Stronger. I know this is mixing techniques, but... Oh, well, never mind. 
So I have a smaller one here. Now a bit of green. I'll get some darker. Violets and don't have two or don't have it all dots, put some softer. Brush work in as well. Um, you can always the, the afterwards you can put in some some lighter branches with a bit of um, gouache. But to make it work, you have to put in the darks for it to register on. Counter change. Right, now I'll go even darker than I think. Okay. Enough stipple on that for the moment. It's really just the trees and the, the shrubbery. Now I'm going to put in some nice yellowy and that'll be a bit of a shadow there so Vary your greens, raw sienna, lemon yellow, sienna, burnt sienna. Warming up as we're coming towards the foreground here. I'll put in some, some nice uh, foliage in there. some shadow in there. I'm just making this Can't remember what I was saying. Nice warm um, uh, sienna, burnt sienna. And now we'll have to put in some sh some shadows in in this. And hopefully, I'll be creating an impression of a lot going on there. Right off. It's a nice uh, stiffle now. Red, blue, three primaries.
but just these little random hits with a brush gives a nice effect of grasses and Do some here. Do a nice dark green there, I think. Let's just leave the stipple alone. Let's go into the rigger now. Into my new rigger. There's a nice dark on there. Just detailing it up a little bit. You can do this with flat washes, I mean, there's nothing wrong. It's just a, I'm just painting a, a pop boiler. Let's just get some shadow in under there. I'm trying to get that bit random. This, my other rig is a bit more hairless. Oh, that'll do. Right, then we'll put in a bit of uh, brown and blue, a bit of grey. Just bring it to life with a bit of this detail here. Remember that the trees have got to support a lot of canopy. Same here. Now I reckon we can bit of uh, sienna, raw sienna, burnt, sorry, burnt sienna, a lot of white. So we can Just a little, hardly shows really. You need it straight from the. I'm too too mean. I'm just softening a bit of paint that was on my on this large butcher's tray. I don't confuse it with that butcher's tray. <coughs> I did this to show a demonstration of. of um, the Ron Ranson method of, of well, the, the thing to his method, I just use his palette with the, the, the tubes of wet paint rather than. Well, oh, 
There's a bit of gouache. Bit of white. Bit of lemon yellow. And we can reinstate some, hopefully, some nice Some of the lights back in there. We've got the lights in there. Some brilliant yellows just catching the sun going through there. Just putting back some lights. All right, I suppose we should put in a few or well, a couple of figures. I'll use a small, small saber or synthetic, if you don't know what. So let's put in a bit of a red, no, not red, do we? Uh, blue. Pretty bad. Going to put a little bit of that white back. Just, just to touch the face. Right, bit of a uh, bit of shadow. Put in a little bit of shadow from, from here. Well, I'll leave the. You can, when it's dry, you can take any pencil marks away from the putty rubber. Um, Well, there we are. Very simple. It's a silent. Put it in a mount. Right, okay, let's uh, have a little look. See what we've done. Oh, oh dear. I've tried to position this, so when I put my mount on, it rests on these two. The clips that you can't see at the bottom of my, my easel. If you haven't got one of these studio easels, or these, these travel, sorry, it's not studio easels, but travelling easels, box easel, I would recommend you get one. They're cheaper than they've ever been at the moment, are they? All right, okay, I, feel, I think it's probably just a little bit, um, a bit heavy. Let's see if I can just take a little bit out. Could be a big body in my oh I'm not, not bothered about him, he's, he's not a stick into he, he's a rather large chap. 
Right, what does that look like? Okay, let's zoom in. Oh, there we go. He's just coming back from the pub. Right, distance, stippled trees. All very, very simple. Just an impression of a walk in some lovely countryside. Oh, a bit of a path. There we are. If I move my camera around, we'll get that more. Can I do it now? Because I would mask you otherwise if I was painting. Oh, there we are. A uh, walk in the country, uh, or a gentle stroll, going home. Have a go yourself, copy it, use the stipple. It's just another bit of bit of um, ammunition or in the armoury, so to speak. Enjoy it, have fun with it. Bye bye.